Just post the ISO on the Techno subreddit. Kind of pissed me off. And I hate to be, I hate to be, I hate to be a part of the full defense squad, but I have to be. Even though I said in previous pods that, you know, I'm a real stickler for variety and I get bored very quickly. I think that might be a symptom of my undiagnosed ADHD. But I have to defend Fold a little bit here because I think this post on the Techno subreddit was incorrect and unfair and also didn't tell the real story of what happened. So this person on the Techno subreddit posted the following. If you have a door policy, you shouldn't have advanced ticket purchases. End of. They continue. Fold is a disgrace. Turned away for nothing at all. Genuinely. And they wouldn't even refund me. You can't eat your cake and have it too. Turning away ticket customers ought to be illegal. So then do your silly door policy bullshit and then charge people at the door. So, this person's alleging that Fold turned them away at the door even though they had purchased a ticket beforehand. And there was no reason for doing that. I call cap on that. Big old cap. Big, big stinking cap. Most likely, most likely, in my experience, most likely, if this person got turned away, especially in a club in London, this is not Berlin. If this is Berlin or Amsterdam, or if this is fucking Georgia or something, Tbilisi, fair enough. If this is New York, whatever, basement, fair enough. But London door policy and London door picking, you know, culture and all that malarkey has only been a recent thing. Only clubs recently have started to implement no photo policies or have door pickers at all. It's not really a thing here. So if you do get turned away at a nightclub, most likely you got turned away because you were too fucked. We don't even have a door picking policy. We don't even have one. Most places you can get in. Most places you can get in as long as you're not too fucked. So if you didn't get in, most likely you were too fucked, too belligerent, causing a scene. And that's why they turned you away because you're being a nuisance. There are, don't get me wrong, Fold does have some nights where they do have um, increased door picking, quote unquote. But still, if you're well behaved, if you don't act like a fucking idiot on a queue, more times out of 10, you're going to get in. Like, I can only name, I can only count on one hand. And I've been going to Fold since it opened. Like, I went to the legitimately the first party they ever threw there. So I've been there since it opened until, you know, the, the time now that we're living. So it's a long time. And I can count on one hand. And maybe on less than three occasions, I've been in the queue and I've seen somebody get turned away. And most of the time, it's because they don't have ID. If you don't know nothing about Fold, Fold are very strict. I think maybe the, the strictest club I've ever been to in London about ID. If you don't bring your ID, you're not getting in. Even if you're on the guest list, they don't play. No photocopies, no pictures on your phone. If you don't have hard ID on you, you get turned away. It's, it's like a stone cold rule that they have, right? So as long as you do that, as long as you bring that with you, as long as you're not super drunk or fucked up in the queue, nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, you're going to get in. It's not that deep. It's not that, you know, again, great club, but it's not that deep. It's not Bergheim. Let's chill out. It's, you know, in terms of the entry requirements and the rejection rate, it's not that high. So this person is willfully leaving out that details. And it, it kind of reminds you a lot of like the videos that people do on the public freakout subreddit. You know, people like are get, they get into an argument with some stranger and they start recording just when they, they, they but they only start recording when that person's being a dick but they don't record when they were being a dick it's like bro you're leaving out a lot of bits of the story as to why this person is now shouting at you you know i'm sure this just happened out of the blue and i'm sure you don't just get turned away from a nightclub out of the blue especially if you got to, if you purchased a ticket you know they're gonna they're gonna try and look after you but the fact that you did got turned away most likely is to do with you not acting or behaving correctly but this also speaks to for me the issue that it also speaks to the reason why most likely we would never have widespread door picking policies like some of the major you know techno dance music whatever tourist spot hotspots in europe have we won't have it people just won't stand for it there is the concept of like curating a space in a particular way the concept of like filtering the poop can come in or not in a nightclub is very foreign to us we have this idea of like if i paid my ticket if i pay for my ticket i can come in if i have money i can come in there is no idea, even in some purist heads, I think, in the scene, that sometimes they, you know, the utility or the usefulness of door picking doesn't really resonate with people in, in London in general. People don't like it. They don't like it in the slightest. They, they really, it really pisses them off. They don't, and again, I understand why, because 
as much as people like to say, oh, when you get rejected from a nightclub, it's not personal. It is personal because, you know, you're getting rejected. But I think people don't really appreciate how it can uh, positively benefit everybody else if there is a strict topic in policy. Because as many people have said, I've said it myself, for all the years I've gone to Berghain, and I've gone, of you know, many, many of years, many of years, sorry, across a number of times and shit. And in all my times going there, I've never once seen trouble, never once seen a fight, never once seen an argument, never once seen any issue in there. And most of it has to come, obviously, because of the uh, law of the club and people looking forward to going in there and be on their best behavior. But a lot of that has to do with the door picking too. A lot of that has to do with the door picking. For whatever reason, they do a good job, those people at the, at the door, at kind of filtering through some of the bad characters and making sure that everybody that's in there is a good egg. So that when you go in there, and you're the one that doesn't get turned away. You understand it because everybody in there is cool. So most likely the people that they got they got turned away, maybe one or two of them might not have been cool. And really, we all know, we've all been to house parties, right? We've all been to fucking school discos. We all know all it takes is one bad egg for ruining the whole ride. So let's not, you know, let's not act like door picking doesn't work. Because sometimes it does. So if you're the type of person that's willing to go on the Reddit and post, you know, um, uh, willfully leave out bits of the details of the story to make it look like you're the victim. Clearly, clearly, they made the right decision. It's annoying, I get it, but they made the right decision. And I think the annoying part probably is when it comes to London, it feels like there is no spontaneity, right? Um, I think I was saying that the other day when I went to Fold, actually. I was talking about, oh, like, how annoying it is because, because it's not open late, or it's not open as late as it probably should be. It's open until 6, but it should be open later than that. I think, if anything, a, f a club like Fold should be open at least until 10, in my personal opinion. I think on Saturdays, at least, you should be open until 10, but it doesn't. Cool. Um, but because it's not open until late, and it's open, it's, uh, I think it opens at, you know, 11, there's not real option to go anywhere else. If you decide to go to Fold, you can't really go anywhere else. You can't really go to... You can't really go to Phonox. You can't really go to Venue MOT. You can't even go to Hackney Wick, really. Because by the time you leave Fold, all the other clubs, their last entry time has already passed. So you're kind of stuck there, for better or worse. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a great place to be stuck at. But that kind of takes away any spontaneity. So you have to decide beforehand where you want to go, be intentional, and then buy a ticket. And buying tickets is fucking lame. So lame. Lame, annoying, and crappy. And kind of takes the fun out of going out. Because you feel like now you have to kind of go. You kind of got, uh, you know, ticket handcuffs and shit. So I get it. But in some cases for me, if it was me and I'd buy a ticket, I want to make sure I get in. So I want to be on best behavior. I'm not going to be drinking. There's no pre-sesh. I'm going to go there and then get on it. I'm not going to, you know, be fucked up and then I can't get in because that's going to kill me. Because tickets nowadays, you know, as, as, I, as I kind of um, witnessed the other day when I went to fucking forward at Fold, you know, all in, my ticket basically cost me 30 pounds. You know, when you factor in my travel, because I think it was like 27 with booking fee, it was like 28, 29. But you factor in my travel, my transport there, public transport, Uber back, like it's about 30, 50 pounds. So, you know, what? why do yourself a disservice by arriving belligerent and drunk and fucked up? Makes no sense. Please try and be sober as much as possible when going to a nightclub to increase your chances of being let in. Who would have guessed I'd have to say that? Who would have guessed it? But here we are.